The ACLU and Mississippi Center for Justice are launching a new initiative based in Sunflower County to dismantle the pipeline of prison policies for minority youth. How did you all develop the information to get this project started? Okay, well, um, the ACLU of Mississippi, along with the Mississippi Center for Justice, who advocate on behalf of youth every day, knew the problems that they were facing um, in the pipeline of prison policies that they have in Sunflower County, current, Sunflower County currently. So what they wanted to do was change that, and uh, they used the systems change approach where we're engaging three systems in Sunflower County that affect young men and boys of color specifically when it comes to pipeline of prison policies. That's the school system, the juvenile justice system, and also the media or the social narrative as well. What goals do you all hope to accomplish by working with media and other professionals? Um, mainly narrative change. Um, we know that young men and boys of color in Sunflower County have a particular story that they want to tell. Um, their story, the story of their communities, uh, the story of their uh, elders in their communities. And so we wanted them to be able to tell that story as a way to change perceptions of themselves and their peers in Sunflower County and across the state. Anything you'd like to add? Other than the Systems Change Project is really using a very unique approach in addressing pipeline and prison policies. We're not only focusing on the youth court, not only focusing on the school system, but bringing the community and the broader, uh, the broader people in to talk about what actually affects young men of color as far as perceptions are concerned and the current narrative that's being told about young men in our community. Um, and so we're hoping that this project will actually change that and not only the adults or the elders in the community changing that, but the youth actually being a part of that change as well. The program launches this summer and they hope to have more media professionals and community support and others involved. In downtown Jackson, I'm Shalise Hall, JSU TV.